Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. And today, fuckers, I want to talk about the five levels of Swiss watches. The five levels of Swiss watches. And uh, i got to tell you the truth. I've done a lot of investigating and I'm putting together the final guide, fuckers. The final fucking guide. And uh, let's begin with my choices. What is the entry level Swiss watch? What is the classic entry level Swiss watch? And I would have to present this. It's an Aris. An Aris. And uh, this is a wristwatch which retails a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks. It's an Aris. It uses a generic ETA type machine, which is a ETA is sort of a company that makes machines movements for a lot of makers. And uh, the the finishing and workmanship on this watch here is really good, bang per buck. It's not super, super, super fine piece of art. No, no, no. But for that sort of price point, this is a really good... It's a Swiss watch. It's a really cool watch. It's got a lovely bracelet. And it's got a lovely mechanism here to open up. It's even got a display back. Which, you know, if you're really into watches and horology, you kind of would say, ah. Oh, the movement's not worthy being of being displayed. But you understand, this is a great starter Swiss watch. Great starter Swiss watch. And I, I the thing I love about Oris is there's a lot of expen much more expensive brands which really aren't much better than Oris, but have fancy packaging and fancy marketing. So Oris really, I think, is the classic everyday, entry-level Swiss timepiece. So you might say, okay, what's the next layer above our Oris? What's the next level up? And uh, I will tell you, fuckers, the next level up is, so this is a price point of about $1,000 to $1,500. The next price point up goes from about three and a half to about seven thousand dollars and uh here we go here's a classic example it's a breitling super ocean abyss 42. again it's very big big on its modern design it's it's oversizedness and uh it's a really good bang per buck watch this watch here is about the four to five thousand dollar mark. Again, it's using a standard type of machine, an ETA movement, Valju slash ETA, generic type of movement. But we're getting much more finish here. There's a bit more finish in it. Well, is it worth the question is, is this worth twice as much as the Oris? Well, probably not, because it's using a generic machine. But it's Breitling. Breitling's got John Travolta, so you've got famous celebrities plugging their product. Fancy ads in prestigious magazines. And Breitling itself, they do a lot of sponsorship and they do many super things. Super things for the punters. So, uh, is it a good watch? Well, it's, it's, it's at a price point. It's quite a solid watch. The, uh, the bracelet is possibly a little bit better than our Oris, but, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not to criticize the Oris there. It's just the next level up. So it's, it's more than twice the price. And uh, it's, it's where a lot of people start off. A lot of people start off. Um, it's a decent, decent watch there. Is it a luxury watch? You could say this is sort of entry-level luxury. Entry-level luxury, fuckers. So what's the next level above this? What's the next level 
above the Brightling Super Ocean. Well, fuckers, the next level up is we go to a uh, a very established brand, a very famous watch indeed, the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. <laughs> and uh, this watch here, this, this watch here is using a wonderful Lamania-based movement, which actually is very, very high-grade. Patek and big-name makers have used similar type movements. Uh, the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. This is the next layer above. And prices start at about... These are about 5,000 US dollars new so you're coming five to the ten thousand dollar mark it's a super value watch this is probably where true the sort of the true first luxury comes out some watches in this price range would still be using eta value movements but if you're a bit of a canny fucker a canny fucker i'd be looking for the ones with the iconic movements and uh, the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon! Does it get any more super than that, fuckers? Does it get grander? Does it get better? Not at that price point. In my opinion, this is a really, really top watch. In many ways, the movement in this is kind of getting into real horterology levels. And uh, there's some dogs in that price range, don't worry. There's some dogs, but we're starting to get into more in-house movements. And uh, Omega adds the the words coaxial, which is a special type of invention by George Daniels to up, up the accuracy and up the price. But uh, I think the Omega Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon, it's, it's the first true luxury wristwatch. What's above that level, Archibald? What is above that level indeed? Very good point. Well, fuckers, we're getting into sacred land here. This is the true luxury watches now. That's the entry to true luxury. What is the next level above that there? My God, we've hit utopia. We've hit Rolex level. Rolex. Rolex. Rolex level, that's right, in-house machine, very, 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 very special machines, utilitarian, yes, but in-house, all hand, well, they have machines too, fuckers, don't forget that, and uh, this is a very nice level, so this level here is the $10,000 Aussie, <laughs> you're talking... 8,000 US plus, fuckers! It's a Rolex! You're successful! In-house, it's all finished. This is a proper Swiss watch, true and true. You're a somebody. You're successful. You're doing well. You worked hard. You went to college and studied hard, fuckers. You wear a Rolex. You wear a Rolex. If you buy one more watch, you can run your own YouTube channel. That's right, at a Steinhardt, at a Graham, at a Brumont, and you can run your own YouTube channel, wowzers. And the wonderful thing is, in this Rolex range here, if you're a really, 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 really rich fucker, we got gold versions, gold versions. Which are basically the same, except they're made of gold to tell the girls. We got a big prick! We got a long prick! We got long pricks, fuckers! But, uh, yes, that's the, uh... They are Swiss luxury watches, fuckers! Gold and steel! Gold and steel! Ah, it's wonderful! The true Swiss watch! No compromise! It's not a pretender! It's not an Oris. It's a proper Swiss watch. We're in Rolex territory. What could be grander? What could be better? We got a Rolex, fuckers. What could be better? Well, 
Well, there is actually a higher level. A higher level. We go to Waterology. We got brands like Jaeger Le Coutre. We got Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, Vacher and Constantine. And our non-Swiss friends there, Breguet. Yes, Breguet was French, you dumb fuckers. And uh, Lange. So we'll just sort of keep them in the same level in the Swiss area here. These are Horterology. 10,000 plus US dollars. And we got that beautiful movement. Look at that, fuckers. Horterology. Horterology, fuckers. Hort. Horology. We got crocodile or alligator straps, fuckers. We've got $675 replacement straps. This is the elite in the watch world. We've made it. We, we are a mover and a shaker. We don't need to pretend anymore. We've made it. Hi, watchmaking Horterology. Jager Le Coutre, Patek, Vacheron, Audemars. It's all there. It's a very, very... I can smell the money. I can smell the money. And um, this is the way the Swiss watches go. The Swiss watches. I love you, little Swiss watch. I'll love you forever. My piece of horterology. Oh, I love you, little thing. You piece of horterology. I'm Archie Luxury. I hope you've enjoyed this tale. Good night. Good night, fuckers. Sleep well. We specialize here in pre owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.